hello guys so in this video we are going to import our sprites so download the sprites from resources and drag them into our sprite folder as you can see it is a complete sprite sheet with different sprites in it now select sprite mode and change it to multiple and filter mode to point and click on apply now click on sprite editor and now we will be editing our sprites so the sprites which we require are our player our enemies our background our tile set coin coin effects smoke effect and some decoration so zoom in by scrolling and just click and drag to create a square and the square should be of width 21 by 21 and adjust it and it should be starting from this bottom and it should be similar to this now let's rename it to player idol now again create a box and remember it should start from the same position as this one so let's do it and it should be of same size that's 21 width and 21 height and let's move it back a little bit and this will be player walk 1 and we repeat this process and we create box around all the required sprites this will be player walk to same thing here player walk 3 and we don't want this one it is a jump animation and we don't have a jump and this one will be player hit move it back and rename it player hit so now we have our player sprites so now let's create some enemies so let's take this one this will be our rocket this will be our first enemy enemy one then our second enemy enemy 2 and if you want you can also take this price also to create an animation but here uh, I am not going to do that because we have a lot to cover so and this one also and rename it to enemy 3 and you can also use other enemies too as you want but here we are going to use three enemies now let's have some background so again click and drag rename it to background green then let's have some platforms so click here drag it till down and rename it to platform green and you can use other platform also platform or background as you need and we can also have some decoration so let's have some tree rename it to tree okay okay so now let's uh, let's also have some coins so now this one will be our coin 1 coin 1 and I will just copy coin so I don't have to type it again and again so it is 16 by 16 we will create same squares for this one also and this will be coin 2 we will again create a square for this one 16 coin 3 for this one 16 by 16 coin 4 
uh, we also have some coin animations so let's get them also so this one will be 16 by 16 coin and coin effect sorry coin effect one so i will just copy coin effect this one is coin 16 let me check okay coin effect 2 this one will be coin coin effect 3 and this one will be coin effect 4 so now we have our coin animation and coin effect animation next is the smoke animation let's have the smoke 16 by 16 I just move it down we will call it smoke 1 and let's copy the smoke word similar for this one 16 by 16 smoke 2 same for this 16 by 16 smoke 3 let's do it from here smoke 4 smoke 5 ok so now we have our player our enemies our coin coin effect smoke effect background and platform so now click on apply and just close this and now you can see we have all our sprites separate so now let's adjust our pixel per unit now this is 8 bits uh, sprite sheet so you can just drag our player idle sprite into our scene and you can see how small it is so let's change the pixel per unit and let's make it 32 and click on apply so now it is looking for nice but it is still too small so let's change it to 24 okay and maybe 26 let me just try it some let's have it 24 okay so 24 i think is perfect as our player can move and we can have enough enemies to attack it drag this background sprite to our scene and let's change its size so let's make it 2.2 .2. now we have a background we will now import get our platform here and let's move it down by minus 2 or maybe minus 4 let's try minus 5 or maybe minus 4.5 okay now let's create a new game object and we will reset its position so click on this settings and click on reset and we will rename it to platform holder now just drag the platform green game object into our platform holder so it becomes child of it and right click duplicate select this arrow here and just move it to the left side and you should have a transform tool here let's adjust it okay again right click duplicate and let's move it to the right right click duplicate move it to the left right click duplicate and move it to the right okay so now we have our platform now select the platform holder and select on add component and we will add physics 2d box collider so let's see where the collider is collider is at the top let's let's select all our platform and change their y value to 0 and now change our platform holder value to minus 4.5 okay so now our collider is at the middle of them now we can just adjust our collider so click on this icon here and now you get these options so you can just click and drag 
to adjust the collider like this okay now as you can see here our background is on sorting layer default and our platform green is also on the same now if i play you see our platform it goes behind our background and we don't want that to happen in our game so what we can do is select sorting layer and click on add sorting layers and now click on star or plus icon here and our first layer will be background the next layer will be platform next layer will be our enemies next will be our pickup then our player and then GUI now remember the order these layers are arranged to see the sprites in the same order that means now you can see here our platform is below our background that means our background game object will be rendered below our platform uh, sprites and similarly like that that means gui all the objects on gui will be rendered at the top then our player pick up and like that now let's select the background and change our sorting layer to background and now if we play our platform remains on the top of our background so guys we have added our background and our platform and also added a collider to it so from the next lecture we will add our player and start coding so thank you guys and i will see you in the next lecture